was Mookie a bad CEO? I sort of see people talking about that sort of negativity about, oh, they issued a $500 million dividend. Well, most companies try to operate with as small as ca a smaller cash flow as possible for that very reason, because you get capital gains tax and all sorts of other things can happen. You get lawsuits. It makes you a bit of a target, like for companies like Cineplex. And with people talking about, oh, exiting the Cineplex lawsuit the way they did. Well, first of all, I question to your law degrees. <laughs> I don't know how much you actually, the people that you're commenting actually know about it. I, I know so many people that love football and watch football all their lives, but I know they know jack all when they're commenting about what the manager should have done and stuff like that and would be absolutely garbage if they were actually put in that position. And so all I want to say is that Mookie, uh, Cineworld, we wouldn't even be talking about it, wouldn't have been able to purchase Regal, it wouldn't have been in any position like this if Mookie hadn't have had continuing success. And even though he inherited this chain from his granddad, it wouldn't have been anything, it wouldn't have been a, a UK 100 company had it not have been nurtured to an excellent degree. And I uh, happen to think that Cineworld is not just a cinema chain, but actually a really good one. I don't think it's like the peak of cinema. They have the peak of cinema, which is IMAX. I don't think you want every cinema to be the peak of cinema. I think you, it's more about getting out your house sitting down, silence, turning off your phone and having a shared experience with other people, seeing a film that you know other people have seen. And so I think uh, there's only a few films that actually need IMAX, so it's perfect situation, perfect setup is just a really nice clean cinema that has one specialised screen or a few specialised screens for the films that really merit that experience. What I think is I don't think Mookie was a bad CEO, I think we would be in a better position had he not have issued the dividend while having so much debt. But they were about to acquire more debt to purchase Cineplex and they didn't need that money. They had cash. They had a very good amount of cash. We had four years, 2020, 2021, 2022, sorry, three years of half a slate. Three years of half a slate. 2022 was not back to normal. It was getting back to normal. So yeah, the fact that they got this far with only like a couple extra bonuses from companies, I think is is what you should take away from this uh, with regards to whether you judge Mookie or not. That's just my opinion on it. I don't think he was a bad CEO. I think uh, if anything, uh, Cineworld have done impressively well to survive through the pandemic while having an enormous debt burden. If they purchased Regal, Two years earlier, I think this would have been a completely different story. If they hadn't have issued one dividend, I think this would be a completely different story. But we are where we are.